Hi guys, welcome to my third part on the NBN. Today I'll be showing you how to estimate what speeds you'll get on the NBN's fibre to the node, also known as FTTN. With fibre to the node, the further away you are from the node, the slower the speed your internet will get. The node gets its internet connection via fibre cable that can send and receive information very fast. Unfortunately, from the node to your house, it uses copper wire. The internet connection gets weaker the longer the copper wire from the node is to your house. Basically, this means if you are a short distance from a node, you should get fast speeds. And if you are a long way away from a node, you'll get slow speeds. The reason I say should is because of the connection speed also has to do with the condition of the copper wire and the equipment you use in your house. To show an example of this, I'll be using a website that gives the best estimate of the NBN speeds you'll receive. This speed result on the website are if you request 100 megabits per second speed. A link for this website will be in the description. To use the website, you zoom into the location on the map where you want to test. As an example, I'll use a random location in Bendigo. When I click on the dot, it gives an info box containing both the distance from the node, estimated NBN speed for download and upload, and a line that explains where the node is. In this case, the house is about 99 metres from the node, and should get close to the maximum speed of 100 megabits per second download and 40 megabits per second upload if they request the 100 megabits per second internet plan. If I then select a different random location, you can see this person is connected to the same node, but is a lot further away from the node. In this case, about 1,207 metres. The best estimate speed this person will get is a download speed of between 16 and 23 megabits per second and an upload speed of 3 to 5 megabits per second if they select the 100 megabits per second plan. This is a huge difference. Some other factors that will change the speed you get are the speed you request from your internet provider, the quality of the phone line to your house, and the quality of the phone line in your house and the equipment you choose, just to name a few. A different issue some people have is even though there is a node close to their house, the copper wire in their street is connected to a different node further away. In some cases the copper wire does not travel the shortest path to the node. These two examples could cause a problem in getting the maximum internet speed for these houses. In my next NBN video, I will explain how my NBN connection went, what speeds I'm getting, and what type of NBN router I selected and why. Thanks for watching.